G'day, Sam Bowie. Sunday 26th of June 2016. It's about quarter past 11 in the morning. Look at these bees going. They're actually still bringing in pollen. Beautiful winter's day today. Um, I'm in short sleeves, long pants and short sleeves. It's probably around 20 degrees Celsius, maybe 18, something like that. So they're bringing pollen in. That means they've got larvae to feed. We've had some wet weather. So there's a little bit of chalk fruit there getting dragged out. So on to the real purpose of the video. Uh, progress report on the two kilowatt solar power system. And there is two kilowatts of panels. But as well as that, I've decided that the 600 watt solar power system is going to become 900 watts. Those panels are two metres by one metre. So I'm going to buy another one of those polycrystalline panels. And I'll set it up, lay it horizontally along the top there. And also today I've just gone through and I've shortened up these cables. You can see the bits I've cut off there. Just so that when I go through and connect them all up, they're at a nice, easy length. Then I can just go through, cable tie them through here. Um, something else I started today, which I should have started a long time ago. It actually should have been the very first thing I did. There's an earth stake. And we'll go around under the house and see what I've done. Now I actually have to go through and buy more cable. Um, I've just been using some offcuts for this. So there's the earth cable from the inverter. Goes to a bus bar in a plastic enclosure there. I've also got an earth cable to the kid. Going to the same bus bar and that grommet you can see in the top left. I'll bring another cable in through there and it'll go Probably up to the subfloor framing, go around and basically follow that crease down that seam there where that fibro board is being joined up. And the earth rod is about on the other side of there somewhere. And like I said, the earthing ground, as Americans call it, is very important and realistically should have been absolutely the first thing I did before I did anything else. But I was greedy for power. Just a quick look at our voltages. Battery is 27.3. 347 watts of solar power coming in. Um, yesterday I actually saw it up to 400 watts, which is about the highest I've seen it. So I don't think that... Adding another um, 300 watt panel to that 600 watt system is going to tax the kid or be too much for the kid. Um, with the inefficiencies of the panels, I think it's going to be, work out just fine. Once I get that sorted, I'll build a box for these batteries, clean them up, get them hooked up to the kid. Because when I get the when I get the two kilowatt solar power system up and running, this system will just be used to run the water pump and outside power tools. There's the back of the panel, forty degrees Celsius, one hundred and four Fahrenheit. 
So if I was to cool that, I'd get even more power production. But I'm not so worried about that. I can just add another panel, beat the inefficiency that way. So anyway, that's it. Um, I'm ordering some solar cable next week, or this week actually, Thursday. Getting a 100 meter roll is gonna cost me about 250 odd dollars. More than what I really need, but um, better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it, which is where I'm at at the moment. I need it, I don't have it. So I can't do the work that I need to get done. And once I've got that done, I'll hook maybe three of these panels, maybe four up to the kid, until I can save up and get the 300 watt panel for there. Um, I've still got a lot of money to spend on fuses and circuit breakers before I can get the giant bow charge controller inverter hooked up. So, thanks for watching. And hopefully I'll talk to you again this week. Um, talk to you again in a week's time with some more updates. See ya.